All right, welcome back to uh, some security research with OpenBTS and GSM. A couple things before I jump into what we're going to go over here is one, the uh, steps necessary to do this was actually shared with me by a fellow uh, DragonOS user, and I hope I say this right, but uh, Ayapin uh, was nice enough to point out how you go about setting up open BTS uh, for a cell broadcast so I'm gonna go over that uh, at least in the part one I guess you'd say of this hopefully two-part video we'll look at uh, using QC super in a later video uh, and then uh, secondly everything that I'm showing here is on my network uh, my end user device user equipment and it's it's contained so no no transmissions are going over the air I'm uh, doing this just for the purposes of understanding what is going on in open BTS and GSM and so I just want to make that clear up front um, any sort of transmitting with a software defined radio especially with like uh, cellular uh, you're gonna need a license more than likely and so if you don't have a Faraday cage or a bag to contain it all in then you best not be doing this so okay let's see so cell broadcast messages if we take a look at uh, about page 76 in this manual and you can find this PDF online but we see we got a.3 which is our sh uh, short message service cell broadcast talks about the GSM specifications and that nearly all GSM uh, stations are capable of receiving and displaying messages or more so the phone I guess I should say uh, but if we go down uh, to the actually the top of page 77 we can see that uh, OpenBTS uh, needs a SQLite 3 database table filled out in order to deliver these messages <clears throat> you can see that uh, the SMSCB loop scans this table and then sends it at the rate uh, specified and you can see number of times this message has been sent Unix time you know there's ver uh, parameters in this uh, table that you fill in so what do I mean by that well let's close this out open up uh, my notes here <clears throat> and we're gonna create an SQLite 3 database that has this information in it and you can see there is some pre-filled in values I've not changed these um, something to point out three spaces here was set up so that the message was not cut off and the other significant thing is this 1210 which I guess it depends on the phone um, that is in, uh, that you're sending to in this case I have a one plus two phone and um, that comes up is actually a presidential message and is uh, read uh, the, the the system reads out what the message is so I think that's pretty unique um, to the presidential message so all right so how do we do this and jump right in so we're gonna start up I got three well four windows open here and I've shown this before uh, and we're gonna use a B 205 mini I've shown a Lime SDR mini that uh, can do this I've shown a uh, e200 an ant SDR e200 but in this case I'm just gonna stick with the b205 mini so let's start a couple things here and we'll start our soup uh, sudo or bleh, sip auth serve as well and then we're gonna go into our user source open BTS now this is I'm doing this on a war dragon uh, a pre-built small PC with uh, Dragon OS Focal X on it and once we're in this folder we're gonna sudo use sudo open BTS and it's important you do it in this folder because the transceiver folder is sitting there as well and so hopefully there's some times where uh, I've had some issues with open BTS but let's see if we can get it this time here I'll leave the window open so I can see what's kind of going on here and while that's finishing getting set up, 
which it is running now, we're going to do, uh, let's see, change user source, open BTS. Shouldn't have to do sudo this time, but we're going to open a CLI interface to open BTS. And we're also going to open another window. And we're going to run SQLite 3. And now you can install SQLite browser, uh, which I've not done yet. And you can manipulate a database after creating it. But I'm just going to do it from the command line here. Copy, paste. And then uh, we'll do a dot exit. That will have created the uh, database on our desktop. And actually, I guess it did because of the, let's see, let's see, let me, let me just make sure because normally, going a little too fast here, normally I specify, and that, me going a little too fast, SQLite 3, let's do dragon underscore whatever, test2.db, and we'll copy, paste that info in, yeah, okay, there we go, just making sure I created it, and dot exit, all right, now we'll come over here to our open BTS uh, CLI terminal, we can set it up uh, for the uh, SIM card information, or in this case, I'm just going to set it for open registration, which I had already had set up in the in the past, previous to this video, and then I'm going to tell it to load this table or database that we just created. We'll say home dragon desktop dragon test two db. Now it's going to say, hey, this. Uh, needs restarted which when I restart this you just gotta watch sometimes open BTS closes cleanly sometimes not so much which I, I think that causes an issue let me see let me try here again we'll start it back up connect back to our open BTS uh, server. I want to just try and like load it again and let's see if we get well, well we'll give it a shot here so we'll start it back up actually no the uh, and I don't mind leaving this troubleshooting in here when I when it when you get a failure like that it looked like the B205 mini was kind of stuck in a state of um, transmitting there. So I'm going to give it another shot here of reloading it. And then we're going to let the phone actually connect and you just kind of have to use your imagination as to what is going on here. And you should be able to hear All right, I'm sure you probably heard that, and let me get it out of this setup here. Uh, let me disable any transmissions, and what I can do is give me just a second. Well. Actually, uh, by the time I took it out here, the message on the screen is gone. So uh, you kind of get you kind of get the idea there. 
that uh, will get you set up uh, for the testing of sending cell broadcast with OpenBTS and then um, I'll try and come back with a part two where maybe we can show real time uh, the messages being sent and uh, our QC Super monitoring it with uh, Wireshark. All right, so hopefully that was uh, helpful. Sorry I couldn't uh, show the actual uh, screen of the phone. Just trying to do everything responsibly. So, all right, thanks.